Hello, hui mita. This is Famer Gaina. I'm back with some more uh, language lessons. We are going to do some Gorani for Spanish speakers on Duolingo, and then I'll switch over to doing some Vietnamese on Lingodeer. And so let's start with some. Hmm. Yeah. So, um. So, practically, probably, sorry, I don't, I'm really tired today. I was feeling sick last night, so I'm just kind of like slowly recovering from being a little bit sick last night. Um, so, excuse me if my brain's not totally here. It's on a slight cool down. <laughs> um, uh, just after I started, I went back to doing the Qurani course last week, last week or the week before that. Uh, the course got updated, so we've got all these other skills in between skills that I've already done, and it seems like I've gotten further down than I really have. It's just past the third checkpoint. So we're gonna do... Um, and oh god, god damn. They updated the Spanish course. It really annoys me that they keep updating courses. I will, you know what, I might actually do a little bit of test out after this Qurani lesson. Uh, oh, there are tips and notes here. <clears throat> Let's read the tips and notes. Uh, numbers. Wait. Uh, that's not tips and notes. There's nothing there. Okay, that's funny. Okay, why is my screen- why is my screen keep jumping? Yeah, there were no tips and notes. Okay. Peru, Nico, Nya, Nyamandu, Nasandi, Nasandu, Terra, Pat Is that Patrol? Me, Arami, Arapu, Jaruti, Atoli, Arami. Man, I can't, I'm blind today. I'm sorry. Patoli, Arami, Arapu, Jaruti, Kwarahu. Okay, those are the words that we're gonna learn for Gurani. I know I'm not gonna test out. Empasar. She. Peru. She Peru. She Peru. She Peru. Mi. What? Mi Pedro? Peru. Peru. Nombre de Baron. Pedro? What's a Baron? <laughs> What's a Baron? Ah, uh, male. Veron is a male. Okay. Mi Pedro. Yo soy Pedro. I, sí, Peru. I did say I was feeling sick last night, right? That was dumb. <laughs> but why would... Oh, yeah, because it's I am Pedro. What the hell? I've done these before. And I'm being stupid about them. Sí, uh, Pacholi. Okay. So yo soy Pacholi. She Pacholi. 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 Oh, there's an accent on the eye. She Peru. She Peru. Yo soy Pedro. I'm Pedro. Ba e pa. She Pacholi. Ba e pa. She Pacholi. Ba e pa. Ba e pa. Ba Asia pa. She pasholi. She pasholi. Uh, see if I get those accents right. Ma Asia pa. Yeah. She pasholi. Pasholi. Okay. Next. Ba Asia pa. She nya saindu. Ba Asia pa. Ba Asia pa. She nya saindu. Ba Asia pa. 
Baishapa Ba a shapa Ba a Ba a shapa Senya Sangu Yeah, she's quiet Nya Sangu Oh Ba a shapa Senya Sangu Okay, type in It's three there, Stone Espanol Espanol Ba a shapa Ba a shapa Yo soy Nya Sangu Nya Nya Sangu Ba a shapa Why does it say como? Well, there's no ula here. Yeah, the right... Okay, it's not that they're... I think they're wrong. It's just they're not showing the right one. Yeah, Nico Cunha. Yes, I do. Nico. Nico. Cunha. Sorry. Nyan, nya, sign, do, s. Nico, kunya. Kuna mujer, es mujer. Nyan, sign, do, is, is woman. What's, what's? What Spanish are they trying to teach me there? Hey, Lexi. Lurk. <laughs> what Spanish are they trying to teach me here? Uh, I mean, they took my answer, but seriously. It's like saying, Ella es mujer. She is woman. That That's like, what? Or she is female, maybe? Um, I don't think my Spanish is that horrible that I don't understand this. I don't understand what he means or what he's saying. Functions as a verb, but normally functions as an adverb. Oh, trying to confuse my brain. Derera Nico Nyamandu de Nico Wimbae. Derera. Derera nombre. Okay, that means nombre. You could say to nombre is, but te llamas. Okay, they just want me to say te llamas. Thanks for giving me the whole answer. I could have figured it out. Uh, tu es hombre. Quimba e. De. Quimba e. Oh, eres. Era Nico Nyamandu. This is what happens when you're not feeling well. Era Nico Nyamandu. Nyamandu. Hera Nico Nyamandu. Hera. Su nombre. Su nombre. Es. Nyamandu. Nya. Man. Nyamandu. Du. She. Peru. She. She. Quimba E. Yo. Soy. Pedro. Uh. Quimba E. Yo soy hombre. Sherera Nikonya Mandu. Okay, next one. Sherera Nikonya Mandu. Rera. Yo. Ah. Me llamo. 
nya no man to oh my god now they want me me nondre Nico Yamandu Earlier they want to yam us, now they want me Andreas. Make up your mind. Yamandu. Yeah, me yamo, I call myself. I'm recording this, I'm sorry, that it should be right. This is what happens when, I, I hate when they add new skills <laughs> with stuff that I've ever, like they add new sentences with stuff I've already done because, hi Andy, how's it going? Wait, what are you saying? My my <laughs> If it's Garani, I don't remember Garani right now, and right now I'm annoyed at the course, but I, I was also a little sick last night and I'm kind of slowly recovering, so my brain is not fully working and how are you though andy uh, this one they want it hola yo soy no i didn't i, I got food poisoning sadly <laughs> I didn't realize the food that that the food I was I had leftover food in the fridge, but I didn't realize it got left out overnight, and then in the in the next day it was sitting in the sun. You know, the problem was the food was wrapped up in plastic, so when it was it was basically fermenting in the sun, and I shouldn't have ate it. I thought I thought maybe there was something bad with it, and then I was like, oh okay, <laughs> you're fine. That's good. No, it was just really bad food food poisoning. But I'm fine. I managed to I managed to eat some chicken before I fell asleep last night. The sad thing about this was like I was really hungry when I ate the food and then I got sick from it and then after throwing up I was just like, Oh my god, I'm super hungry and tired and <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> But I'm feeling better. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. My brain is just not working too well. Nerera, Nico, Yamandu. Ne, Nico, Wimbae. And Garani is a little hard. Especially when they revise the course and put in sentences and they don't have all the acceptable answers now. <laughs> oh, Andy, there is a challenge going on, by the way. Um, there's a community challenge. I will do a special one and a half hour stream. If the community challenge is met, there's 14 days left. You can check the channel rewards. I think we have, oh, 59% raise, 59. Yeah, so we need just about uh, doing math here, 41,000. Need just about 41,000 points to meet the community challenge. <laughs> You are fine. That's good. I'm glad to hear it. How's how's how are things in Serbia right now? Ndi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this this time to nomre. Nico. Ndi. Kuimba e. To nomre. Rera. Ndi. Nico. Nyamandu. Nyamandu. Yes. Yeah, man, do. To eres hombre. I don't know why they say to eres hombre, but it should be to eres un hombre. Yeah, missed an accent. Nate, challenge. Reminding you. Good protest didn't last long. Actually, Streamlabs is working today. It is reminding people to do the challenge. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, Nate, 24,000 in total? You could possibly do the, to complete this challenge single-handedly too, eh? Mm -hmm. If you keep lurking on the screen. Protest didn't last long. That's a good thing. Actually, I should have some juice. I think I might be okay with drinking some juice today. To compare. No, you can do this single handedly now. Mm 
But it's 2,000 every stream. And if you're not around for every stream. I'm gonna have lunch, so I'll come back later. Alright, Andy. Have a good lunch. It's always nice to see you popping in. To Eres Ombre. To Eres Ombre. Well, let's do this. Continuar. Sherera ni coña mandu. Sherera ni coña mandu. Nico. She. Uh. I'm gonna, well, they wanted me nombre is. No, gracias. What's with all the orange on Duolingo site now? <laughs> That's different. It's orange, Lion. It's orange. Orange is the new red, everyone. Diane, come here. Let's show them your wonderful Jeru caramel orange. It says it's the new red. New red. Orange is the new red. <laughs> Jeruti Nico Cunha Jeruti Jeruti Nico Cunha Jeruti Nico Cunha Jeruti Nico Cunha Jeruti Nombre Oh Jeruti They want me Oh, they want me to put it as Jeruti S They want this Oh, there's an accent. She yes. Arapu. She Nico Quimbae. Arapu. Yo soy Arapu. 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 Yo soy Arapu. Uh, yo soy hombre. I want to say it's un hombre. Come on. Arapu ni kokuimba e. Arapu. Arapu. Arapu ni kokuimba e. Ni kokuimba e. Arapu ni kokuimba e. Means Arapu is hombre. Why would you say that in Spanish? Arup, Arupu is man. What the hell? This is not, not proper Spanish, I'm sorry. Arapu hakwarahu niko kuimba e. Arapu. Arapu hakwarahu niko kuimba e. Warahu. Arapu and e. Kwara. Who? Arapu i kwarahu. Kwarahu. Son hombres. Heta kai. Heta. 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 Heta kai. Heta kai. I like these languages though. I like kind of like the way they sound. They're un they're interesting. Heta. Interest. Muchos monos. Kai is a monkey? Kai. Kai is a monkey. In, in Garani. Sherera ni koyeruti. Sher ni kokunya. Hera ni ko arami. Arami ni kokunya. Jeruti. Ah, me yamo. Yeruti. Oops, yeruti. Yo soy. Ah, niña. Cunha. No, mujer. Nico. Jeruti. Yo soy una mujer. Hera Nico Arani. Hera. Nico. Hera. Se llama. I stick with this. Se llama Arami. Arami es. Una mujer. Cunha. Una 
Look here. I am just going to report this. <laughs> they don't have all the different possible answers. That's annoying. Wow. This is going to be fun. I'm going to report all the possible answers. I might be too tired to do that today. We'll see. Let's see you are. Warahu ha marangatu ni kokuimbae. Anai ha arami ni kokunya. Warahu ha marangatu ni kokuimbae. Anai ha arami ni kokunya. Warahu ni marangatu. Warahu, warahu, marangatu, i marangatu, marangatu, um, son, hombres, anai, anai, i arami, arami, son mujeres, anai. Anai. Ah, uh, Anai. Okay. Marangatuja Anai ni comita. Marangatu e Ana Anai. 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 Mita. Mita. Niñas. Jera ni Yeruti. Yeruti. Se llama Yeruti. No, it. Hera. Nico Yeruti. I really hate when they make updates to courses and put in new sentences and they don't have put in all the possible answers. Reporting them. Arapu ni kokuimba e. Kuimba e. Arapu. Es un hombre. Sherera ni koyeruti. She ni kokunya. Hera ni ko arami. Arami ni kokunya. So last time I put me llamo yeruti. Yo soy una mujer. Se llama arami. Arama. Arami es una mujer. Right? They don't want me to put me llamo. Okay, fine. So, yo, mi nombre, mi nombre es Yeruti. Yo soy, they want mujer. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm gonna put yo soy una mujer. Ero, Hera. Su nombre es Arami. Ar Arami es una mujer. We took that one. So they just didn't like the me llamo for some reason. I know this is probably literally she me. No, play. This one's Hera. Su. Nico. No, actually. Hera. No. Nico. This Herera. means nombre. Herera. Hera. That actually does mean nombre. She. Hera. Because it left off the pronoun. <laughs> Annoying. 
Hera Nico Yeruti. Hera Nico Yeruti. Say. Did I get this one wrong? For doing that one? Yeah, I did. It is wrong. Hera Nico Yeruti. That's the only one they're gonna accept. Seriously, people. <laughs> Next one. Last one. Qual de estos es Erasema? Erasema. What's an. Oh. Uh, what? Is that just a person's name? That's just the person's name, man. Saluto. Ah, uh, yeah, my day. Hello. My day, Nico Kuimbae. My, my day. day. My day. My day. No, it's not as. Yeah, I didn't think so. What? What? Why did they say saluto? Greeting. It means greeting. It's a My person's day. name. That's stupid. What did, they just said, which of these is a greeting? And they said Maite. But Maite is a name. Itatini Kokunya. Kunya. Ita. T. S. Uno. Sherera Nico Uvera, She Ani E, Ingua Terra Ni E. Sherera Nico Uvera, She Ani E, Ingua Terra Ni E. Nico, what's this? Uvera. Uvera, yo, ah, Anya Soy de Ingua Terra. Oh, I hablo English. Yo hablo English. Okay. I forgot. Inglaterra ne. Inglaterra ne. Okay. Next. Arab. Uh. Irsema. Usapu ni kokunya. Usapu. Usa who is una mujer. Not sure I'm learning Guarani quite well here. More like I'm getting more confused between what they want me to put in as a correct answer between the Spanish and the uh, between Latin American Spanish and more particular the dialect uh, is and would be I guess in Paraguay and. The kind of Guarani that they're putting me putting into it, it's like I'm getting more confused because they're not being consistent with I think the dialect of Guarani as well. So yay, this is fun, people. <laughs> Let's try to sort this all out. Because at this point, if I ever go to Paraguay and try to speak Guarani, I'm just gonna sound like a mishmash of every other dialect. <laughs> fun. This is worse than me speaking Taikandoran. Did you hear me, Nate? Mm -hmm. This is worse than me doing speaking Taikandoran. Taikandoran, by the way, people, is a thing. I am not making this up because I met somebody who uh, is a native Taishanese speaker like me. His parents are Taishanese, but because they were in China for a while until like 1990s, they they do they spoke Taishanese, Cantonese because they're in Guangdong province from Guangdong province, but they also had to learn Mandarin because it was around the 1990s when they left between the 1950s and 1990s. Yeah, you had to learn Mandarin. You still have to learn Mandarin. So yes, they speak Taishanese, Cantonese, and a little bit of Mandarin. So Taikandaran exists. That's awesome. <laughs> I knew it had to exist. I just knew it. Had to. Mm -hmm. 
su nombre. Okay, su nombre is uh, was it era Nico Zapu uh, She Rera. I think I got this right. No, 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 don't. Why are you doing that now? Get the hover over tips. No, that's not what they were giving me earlier. Hit up? Hit up? My god. When did they use that? This is so confusing. I'm just gonna stick with what they've given me. <laughs> Shit. Okay, they can write it as one. Hera, su nombre, Hera. Nico. I think Nico needs to be there. Nico needs to be there. Uh, watch me get this wrong, everyone. Watch me get this wrong. It's gonna be wrong. <laughs> uh, what is the word for nosotros? I can't remember now. Uh, ore, ore, cuña, ore. Okay, that one makes sense. Ore, cuña. Yep. Nico. No words. Just, just this. <laughs> I think they need to put more explanations for this course in terms of. The in regards to the different dialects of Gorani, because there are apparently different dialects of Gorani. <sighs> it's not the best way to learn Gorani right now. It's like the only way to learn Gorani. <laughs> no, I wonder, did Live Lingua project have Gorani? I don't remember. I'm like, how hard could this course be? And I'm like, oh my god, it's freaking hurting my head. Yeah, they do have Garani here. Live Wingo does have Garani. Yes, Garani basic course. So if people actually want extra resources for Garani, It's spoken by 4.85 million, cited in 1995, so there's probably a lot more native speakers of this language. It's an unusual language, I'll give it that, but yes, there's tons of dialects. I'm just like, stop, stop. <laughs> it doesn't help that I was sick last night, and my brain is definitely on a major cooldown. I thought it was a slight cooldown, but it's definitely a major cooldown. No, that's not the link I wanted. I wanted to share this link with you guys. Um, I'll share this link with you guys if people are interested in learning some Morganani. This might be more helpful. Maybe it'll explain some things. Let's just look. And there's a workbook. And there's one. You know what? Let's pull this up and see if they have um, some good explanations. Why is my plugin blocked? Why is the plugin blocked? What plugin? Flash? No, I don't want to block Flash. Why is it blocked? I don't have it. I don't have it blocking Flash. What the hell? Why was Flash blocked on this page? It don't normally block. Oh, jeez, screw you. <laughs> Um, maybe this will help, actually. I didn't even think to look at this. 
I mean, it's old. Okay, let's skip this part. The uniqueness of Gran. Yeah, it's Paraguay. Oh my god, this text is... This text is worse than the handwritten Chinese I have to read through for the, for the Taishanese stuff. That's a hell of a preamble. That's a hell of a preamble. Preparation stage. What a typo. It is called and. It's not an Indian language. Oh my god, this stuff is so old. It's a na... It's a native South American language. <laughs> okay, let's move on. I mean, an old resource for learning a language is better than none. So, <laughs> did you guys see that? Garani is an Indian language spoken in Paraguay. No, it's a native South American language. <laughs> I know they mean American Indian, but it's not American Indian either. It's South American. And they should stop using American Indian. I mean, Canada got past calling them American Indians. <laughs> They're called First Nations in Canada. That's what they want to be called. It was decided between the Canadian government and the uh, all the different native tribes in Canada, they decided that they wanted to be called First Nations and call them First Nations. Now the biggest biggest group is Inuit, so they, they're, they're kind of separated from First Nations. And there's also Métis, which is half like First Nations, half white, basically. With some half European of some form. Because Métis is a French word that just means half, so they're mixed. I know they mean American Indian, but they shouldn't use that term. <laughs> Hi Andy, you're back. Andy, Garani is hurting my head. There's too many dialects of Garani and they're like trying to put in all the different stuff and they keep telling me I'm wrong. Okay, this I'll accept is probably maybe wrong, but I don't know why they use Nico. I thought they used Nico for S. See, it's there! All right, I'll give... Okay, fine. They don't mind that. Yes, but the problem is that then people extend it to Canada and the, Can and the, Can the First Nations don't want to be called that because they're not, they don't consider themselves American to begin with, even though it's a continent of America. And they, ov they obviously do not consider themselves Indian. I don't know. I've heard that some... Or some people of American Indian descent, they don't like being called Indian. <laughs> well, indigenous is always the better word. native is necessarily contrasted with cultural because we talk about native languages too versus a learned language. <laughs> I hate dialects, yes. And Taishanese is not a dialect of Cantonese. I've spoken with Cantonese people before, slipped up, said things in Taishanese, and they're like, what did you just say? <laughs> and Cantonese, I've tried speaking Taishanese or Cantonese, either one, with a Mandarin speaker. They're just like, what is that? It's not a dialect of Mandarin. None of the other Chinese lang Chinese variants, Chinese languages, are dialects of Mandarin. Don't buy into the propaganda for the Chinese government, people. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> yes, that is Cantonese. You, I think it's, how's that pronounced? Yue? But is that, is that the Mandarin term, Yue? Challenge! 
challenge! Challenge! Click on the channel rewards. There's a challenge on. I'm gonna do a special one and a half hour stream. If you guys, if the community meets the challenge, I'll do a one and a half hours special stream. Hey, Mike! Thanks! Well, hopefully it'll be a fun stream. I don't know. It could be totally fun or totally not. We'll see. <laughs> Mike! Ronnie's hurting my head! I think I might want to switch to another language next week on Duolingo. We'll see. Let me finish this. <laughs> I think they're throwing in all the different dialects of Garani for the answers, and I don't know which ones they want. <sighs> but maybe I should just do this, even though this hurts my head. Indian language <laughs> spoken in Paraguay. It's a South American language. I'm going to call it a South American language because technically it's like it's a language spoken in the continents of South America, okay? <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not hyper politically correct. Like I don't I don't I really don't buy into identity politics because um, no offense to people, I understand people I understand the psychology behind identity politics. People always want to feel like they belong to something. They always want to feel like they're special. That's fine. But at some point, you get past the identity politics and using labels to describe yourself. I mean, some labels are okay to a certain extent because hopefully they're not, they're not politically loaded. But when you adopt politically loaded labels, expect a lot of stuff to go, you know, there's that expression in English, in English, when the crap hits the fan, you know, everything's gonna go splattering all over the wall in your life at some point with that kind of stuff. So I don't buy into, polit I don't buy into uh, identity politics a lot. I, I think people should just be who they are, just be who you are. I, I understand sometimes people don't really know who they are and that's why they adopt certain labels for themselves, but at the same time I'm like, how important is it that, that that an individual, and I'm talking about each individual, I'm not talking as a collective. How important is it that each individual needs to have some external validation for who they are? You don't need external validation for who you are. You're wonderful as you are. Just accept that. Everybody has issues. Everybody has problems. Everyone has flaws. Everybody has good things and bad things going on in their life. So when you start to recognize that, you don't need the identity politics, you don't need the labels. But about as far as I go in political correctness, the continent is South America. The language is spoken in the South America continent. <laughs> it's a South American language. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> because I think that's less politically loaded of a term than other terms you can use. Indian language, Indian language is completely wrong. India is the other way. <laughs> Pikachu, Pikachu, Meve Aqua. Ah, uh, is it Ho 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 -u? I forget the word for Aqua. Yut Yut in Cantonese. Thank you. I thought so. That's what. That's why it's Yut Ping for the uh, keyboard. Hoi U Hoi U. I think he just said Hoi U. You don't need to translate Aqua. That much I remember so far. Yeah, consonants are kind of dumb too. I know. I mean, technically, they dispute that where you d where you split Eurasia. Where do you split Europe from Asia? Because because Russia as a country is split between Europe and Asia, right? So so you've got like Western Russians, like far far west. They're part of Europe, European Russians, and then you've got Siberia in Asia, and there's, there's Russians there, and they're just kind of like... I, I think borders are dumb anyways, but consonants on a... just based on describing landscape and geography, I'm okay with, you know? Like... <laughs> like, <laughs> I think somebody commented on Duolingo on one of the Irish... 
Irish discussions on Duolingo going on about Northern Ireland and I guess it's is it the Republic of South Ireland and it's Northern Ireland or whatever and I'm just basically talking about Ireland the the island <laughs> because put together that Northern Ireland and whatever you want to call Southern I South Ireland Republic of Ireland put together they're on an island that's called Ireland and and historically that's that's it's called Hibernia historically <laughs> which is a Latin name unfortunately <laughs> I don't remember what the Celtic name for the island itself is called so I don't mind geographical terms based on geography based on true geography based yeah 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 it's Ireland is that actually the original one yeah it is so that's why it's Ireland Yes, the island itself was called that, so it's proper to call the whole island with, that has Northern Ireland and what the Republic of, of Ireland as Ireland. I was talking about Ireland, the island. I guess I should have specified. <laughs> Politics, people. You don't make friends that way. You're not really. <laughs> My response is basically no response. I was just I was just done with the conversation. <laughs> Moved on. <laughs> but I do remember it and it just it's it's one of those things I remember as like I don't know. I I I, I chalk those things up to um people trying too hard. <laughs> oh, let's not get this one wrong. Uh, had a I mean, I can go on about politics, people, especially I was in Canada, I'm from Canada, I, we do have Black History Month in Canada as well, Did, but let's not talk about Black History, let's talk about another culture that was also sort of, I wouldn't really say oppressed, because, because the people in that culture, they were trying to make money, and for the most part, they were in Canada, trying to make money and then they were going to go right back to the country they came from with the money they made because it was more money than they would make back home. So, Canada, the Canadian National Railroad that went across Canada at one point, it doesn't really exist across Canada but I think the rails are still there, that was built predominantly by Chinese immigrants. Okay? <laughs> Do we have Chinese History Month in Canada. No, we don't. <laughs> I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to. I think I think teaching history is enough. We don't need a special month. And in fact, what does a special month do? I think these things need to be remembered on a regular basis, not just at one month out of the year. It's like how I feel about Valentine's Day. I don't need one day out of 365 days out of the year for, my, for Nate to tell me he loves me. I'd rather have it more on a regular basis. I actually prefer it on a day that I'm not expecting, on any normal day that I'm not expecting, and that makes me happy. Come on, people. <laughs> happy dead guy day. Huh? Happy dead guy day. Happy dead guy day. Yes, there's a whole history about seeing Valentine, by the way, and the whole day that's marked as Valentine's Day is not a very pleasant day. It's a bit of a morbid day. And also the whole thing about giving Valentine's cards, that can be traced back to the Roman times when this was not really nice, actually. The Romans would take, take the names of all the maidens and put it in that bag and pick a name out and, that, and then that maiden would be his, like, you know, concert for the evening. That's not very romantic, people. <laughs> <laughs> the things you learn and how it changes your whole world view people don't uh, the thing is don't take everything you you learn when you're a kid and stick with everything always be ready to like adapt and to adopt your 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 viewpoint your world view to things that you're going to learn that you may come across i don't see the point in being closed-minded about things 
it's always it, I think it's important to be open minded because things are not always what they seem. Anyways, enough of that. I don't like lecturing people. Um, this is just my my life experience, and people can do what they want. That is also another one of my philosophies. People can do what they want. If they're happy, fine. Why are you bringing back? What? <laughs> non mutes? <laughs> Southern you? <laughs> why? No, 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 why? What? No, Nyande is ex one's exclusive and the other's inclusive. This is just. Oh, shoot. I have to do the inclusive one. Did I mess it up? I messed it up. <sighs> it didn't help that I was sick last night, people. <laughs> I was gonna play last night, and then I was feeling sick, so I didn't play, and that also makes me sad. Tera, Isapu, She, Rera, Igara. They're trying to confuse me. They're not. They're just showing all of it, so I have to remember which one. Ha, De, uh, Rera. Was it De Rera? Hera. Hera. Itachi. Yes, Nyande is the inclusive one. Mujeres. Kun, yeah. About time! <laughs> but you know, I like the Irish language. <laughs> Okay, we did that. So, I'm going to switch over. By the way, people, um, LingoDare, if you're using LingoDare, they currently have, they currently, oh, I should have posted this, I should have posted this in the Discord. LingoDare currently has a uh, sale on, um, if, you, if you're willing and if you're capable, if you're able to, if you have the money to, if you buy the lifetime membership to LingoDare, if you buy the lifetime membership to LingoDare, you will get LingoDare Plus free. Uh, LingoDare Plus lifetime membership free with it. Wait, what? What are the words in what? What do you mean? What words? Oh, by the way, language lamb says is just a you can pick the next lesson, the next language lesson I do. What are the words in rewards? What? Words on stream. Oh, words on stream. Words on stream. I'm guessing. Yeah. You mean play words on stream? I don't know. You're gonna have to find out. <laughs> You don't know words on stream. I think I've played that once before. What's this? It's a game. It's a game we play online. We play on stream. Um, oh, no, no, no. We have to do Twitch. Uh. Yes, it's, it's a lot of ninja bots because it takes a while to play, but it's this. I'll show it quickly, but I'm not going to play it. So you guys type in the words you find in chat. So just type in chat. Like, uh, like that. That's what you do. And... 
Seize. Hey, seize? Didn't go? It didn't take seize? I'm actually doing pretty good. I'll do one round. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's a word, actually. So that's what you do. I don't know what they're doing with it. What's the unlocking for? I have no idea what the unlocking for is. So you try to get 46 points to get to the next level. Uh, yeah, okay, so we uh, don't want autopilot on actually. But yes, it is, it is uh, 20,000 ninja bots for a reason, because it takes a while to play. Let me scroll back. Uh, what? <laughs> Most people in the south of China are at least matrilineal of ancient uh, Baye people, which are... Uh, yeah, I think I might have read that. Tanka people... <laughs> Tank of people live on boats. Boat tanks. Boat tanks. Boat tanks. Okay, so now I guess switch over to Vietnamese. Um, but what was I going to post in the Discord? Yeah, Lingo Dare. Lingo Dare has a sale going on. If you can afford the lifetime membership to Lingo Dare, and then you send them an email saying back to school, they will activate Lingo Dare Plus for you. Uh, lifetime membership to Lingo Dare Plus for free. Um, that's the current sale, actually. Yeah, so let me just switch this because I'm switching over to Lingo Dare. And so I did that. I actually did that. I was contemplating buying the lifetime membership anyways, but since that sale came up, I'm like, oh my god, that is a no brainer. I'm going to get it. Um, let me change my language uh, to Vietnamese. I can't remember exactly how to type the Vietnamese. Uh, um, is it? Oh no, that's not right. Is it that one? And uh, I think it was that. Is that the right way to type that? I don't remember. Let me check. Mm. I'll post that into the Discord later and you guys can check out the deal that uh, it's offering. Tian Bet. Tian Bet. Tian. I want this. Yeah, so it should be. This should be. I think that's. Oh no, I'm missing. Is it a dot under the E? Ten, yeah. Yeah. E. Dot? No. I think that's right. Yeah, it's a dot under the E. And then... Uh, switch this back to English. English to English, yeah. I know it's black <laughs> because I'm doing something in OBS. Okay. Thanks, so, Nate. It only needs to be on when I'm actually doing the exercises. No. Look at the t look at the title, the language bar again. I'm changing it. I, I said what I was doing, Nate. You weren't paying attention again. Okay. Huh? Okay. I did say what I was doing. I said, oh, give me a minute. Let me change the title. Mm -hmm. The language title has to be changed. I need a second monitor. I'm going to steal yours. <laughs> um, yes, and let's pull up the Discord... Um, what was I going to do? 
Oh, there was something I was gonna put. I was gonna post this in the Discord for Karani if I haven't yet already. Where's the Discord? Or well, Nate, you could be a good mod and post this link in the Discord for me, but it's fine. I got it. Or somebody could post this link in the Discord. I think I posted it in chat already. <laughs> what we learned today. Yes, we learned about food last time. Okay. Just typing in this, go another resource for Karani. Post that in the Discord for everyone. And let's see. Yes, Southern Chinese people do look different than Northern Chinese. I think so. Plus, uh, you should you should look up on YouTube and look up uh, Chinese people doing DNA tests. Some of the Northern Chinese people found out they're like half like part Korean or part Japanese, and they're like surprised. It's actually funny. Some of it's funny, and but yes, and I think I think pure pure Han Chinese definitely looks different than uh, than the Chinese that are pretty mixed. Pinghua, what? We should uh, we should try to convince that Taishanese guy to uh, do a Duolingo course. I also I actually I will check up with that Taishanese guy we met last week. I met on here last week and see if he really is going to start the Duolingo course for Taishanese. That would be fun actually. I would, but I'm not I'm not as I mean I'm native Taishanese speaker, but I'm not as good at it as some people considering I don't really have anybody to talk to in Taishanese except for my mom. And I never really had to learn it, so... Okay, so we're gonna go back to... So the Garani link is in the Discord. I'll post the thing about Lingo Dare later. I just have to remember to do it. And this... Why is my right earbud not fitting anymore in my ear? I don't understand. Pingwa. What? <laughs> Okay, so yes, I got the, um, I have the Lingo Deer lifetime membership now, so I actually can do this on the website. I don't need to use an emulator, and I don't use, I don't need to do a phone stream. I might still need to use an emulator for some things. Let's see. I have, um, some other language apps on here I have. I mean, Hello Chinese. Chinese skip, but I've done those already. Um, I also have, oh no, I still need it for Cantonese Dross because of that stupid audio issue for the spoken form. Scripts, um, Language Drops has scripts. And actually, if you get a lifetime membership to Language Drops app, app you also get a membership to scripts. Uh, and scripts you can do, on scripts you can do uh, Japanese. And it teaches Japanese hiragana and katakana as well. So you're not just only learning hiragana. I mean, hiragana of the two hiragana is used more, right? Why am I not signed into my scripts? Well, I'm not signed into my scripts. They also teach American Sign Language. I don't know what kind of Chinese hans hansa they have in here. They, t they teach the alphabets, basically. Hebrew, Devanagari, Japanese Kana, like I said, Korean Hangul, and Russian Cyrillic. And I already know Cyrillic. I've learned Devanagari. I, need, I could probably do that as a review. I need to learn Hebrew when I get back to the Hebrew course. And I already know Hangul. But anyways, that's 
I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if you guys can see this. This is Scripps. Language Shop Scripps has these. Hello Chinese is my favorite app for learning. I did the Hello Chinese one. Um, I did the Hello Chinese um, basic course already. But yeah. It is a, that is a really fun app actually for Chinese. But um, I did that one first and then I did the Lingo Dare one. So Vietnamese Lingo Dare, everyone. Um, last week I left off on Animal. Actually, let's do the alphabet. Let's do the rest of the alphabet. Um, oh no, wait. Don't they have the exercises on here? They don't have the alphabet exercises on here? I thought they did. Uh, I guess they don't. Wait a second, I thought they had the lessons on here for the alphabet. Okay, I'll do that in the app then later. Okay, so we'll do this one. I already read the learning tips last time. And we are on this lesson. So these are the words we're going to learn. Okay. Galonai. <coughs> Select bird. Wait, what? Oh, well, it's got to be this one because that's, that's a chicken or a rooster. Rooster. That's a rooster. Team. Team. Okay. Select chicken. Ga. Oh, is she doing that ga ga sound again? She's doing that ga sound. All right. Check. That. Did I not? Ga. What says hi, dear? Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, okay. Those are the tips and notes. You can access that. Can close that. That's cool. Select pig. Lut. 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 Guide the raid? Wait, who did that? <laughs> I'm going to go now. Have a nice dream if you want. You can read One Mouth 29. No, I'll do it. You redeemed it. I'll do it. He is a Korean guy learning English very good soon. Oh, okay, cool. I'll try to remember that. Hopefully he's still on when I'm done. If I, if he's not on, if he's not still on when I'm done, um, when I'm ready to raid, then I'll, I'll redeem your points after, okay? Have a good, yeah, you're welcome to Lurk Andy. You know that. And have a wonderful day, Andy. Lot. Lot. Korean. Korean. I do know quite a bit of Korean. 안녕하세요. 잘 지내세요. 시끄러워요. Nate loves... <laughs> Nate snickering every time I say that one. 시끄러워요. But I love it. 가. 가. And also, 오래간만이에요. Means long time no see because they got it from Chinese. Good away, y'all. <laughs> what you could perceive related to the axe. No, but it's the polite way. I didn't say shakur away. Uh -huh. I said yo, it's polite. Uh -huh. Yo, 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 it's always polite. <laughs> Formal would be well. I don't think they'd say it in a formal way. You don't want to ever. <laughs> hey. No jump. Uh. Nyai. 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 I love the nyai sound. It's actually fun for me. I don't know why. It's in Chinese. No. No, nga. Nga is Chinese. Nga is obviously from, like, in Spanish, but nga. What did I call my teeth before, Nate? I called my teeth nar-nars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
When they're dirty, when I feel like my teeth are dirty, I call them my nine R's. Con chim này là của ai? Not a real word, people. Con chim này là của ai? Con chim này. This is the classifier bird. This bird. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We learned that before. We learned this grammar. This goes after, and you need the art, the classifier, not article, classifier for the animal. It's very similar to Chinese, except that this goes after that. So in Chinese, you would say this classifier noun, um, but in Vietnamese, this goes after. You say classifier noun this, and la means is, and qua is be la qua qua guo guo. Gua, sorry, gua, gua, gua means belonging to, and this is who. So, so, and like in Chinese to say something like that, you would say, you would say, who, who, z, and the and the thing goes after. So it's kind of reversed from Chinese. It's actually interesting. Some of the constructions are reversed from Chinese. Con chim này là của ai? I think it's easy to compare Vietnamese with the Chinese language. We're very similar. They're not in the same family, but it's very similar. Con chim này là của ai? Con chim này là của ai? Oh, I really, really gonna have to remember how to type these because um, I'm not using the app version anymore. I don't have Android swipe texting. Is the chicken over there the older sisters? Con chim kia con go fa la gua chi gai con Con gà kia có phải là con gà kia có phải là của chị gái không? Chicken, chicken. This was bird. Con gà kia có phải là của chị gái không? Next. Oh, she's what is that one? Was that? Lut, 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 lut. So this dot underneath indicates the tone, which is that. What is that called? Heavy tone again. Lut. Fish. Was ga ga ga? No. Oh, it's this one. Oh, geez, bad me. Ga ga ga. Uh huh. I think it's this one. Chicken. What was the other one? Ga. Oh, fish. Ga. Chim. Chim. Is she kind of loud? I'll turn down a little bit. I got one wrong. Jump. Nay. Nay. And that's another tone. That's that tumbling tone. Gon, gon. Oh, which one's rabbit? Do, gon do, gon to, gon to, to. Con thỏ đó đang nhảy. Con, con, con thỏ đó đang nhảy. Con thỏ đó đang nhảy, nhảy. <sighs> Does that dog like milk? Uh. I think. Con chó đó, con chó đó, con chó đó this có that. thích sữa không? Uh, classifier dog. Con chó đó có thích sữa không? Con chó đó có con thích... chó đó có thích sữa không? Thích sữa không? Sữa không? Tôi thích con mèo này. Tôi. Tôi thích 
con mèo này mèo mèo that's pretty easy tôi thích con mèo này tôi thích con mèo này <laughs> to me saying mèo này just sounds like cat wants milk because nai means milk <laughs> Next, next day. This pig, one mouth, 29. Okay, this pig is listening to music. Gon, gon lon, gon lo, do, is listening. This pig, this pig, this pig, dang. I think it's that one. No, no, no. I'm getting confused between this and that, and I already learned it. That's bad. I'm gonna do this over again. Is the chicken over there the older sisters? Gon. Gon. Ga. Gia. Gon fa la. Gon fa la. Gua chi gai. So they all say going to go la. So I need to remember chicken over there. Then is this one. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I forgot this, this, that, and that over there. I, I remember that over there. This pig is listening to music. Um, it was nigh, right? Gon lo. Con lợn này đang nghe nhạc. Đang nghe. Nghe. Con lợn này đang nghe nhạc. Nghe nhạc. Okay. Nhạc. Next one. That bird is Anna's. Con chim đồ. La Qua Anna Con chim đó là của Anna Con chim đó là của Anna Okay, next day, next day That cat over there is eating fish That cat over there is eating fish Hmm Con mèo kia đang ăn cá. Con mèo kia đang ăn cá. Con mèo kia đang ăn cá. Next, that rabbit is jumping. Con đồ đồ. Con con thỏ đó con, đang nhảy. Con thỏ đó. Tăng nài. Next. Whose bird is this? Con chim nài. Con chim nài là của ai? Con chim nài là của ai? Con chim nài là của ai? Next. Uh... Lut. Lut. Sorry, Lut. It's a pig. A bird is chim. Chim. Okay, and. Ga. It's fish. Ga. And. Ga. Ga. It's chicken. Con gà kia có phải là của chị gái không? Ga. Con, con, con hà, con hà kia, con hà kia. Is the chicken over there? Go, so possessive. Go, oops, in space. Go. Ah! 
Go. Fai. Là. Con gà kia có phải là của chị gái không? Của. Um. Con gà kia có phải là của chị gái không? Ừ, xin mời. Chị gái à space à oh and G yes I need this to help can I not highlight this I want to write it myself but I can't actually highlight these oh what a rip but they definitely let me do that in the app. Okay, fine. I'm going to type it in here. Gon. Ga. No. Ga. Gon ha. Gia. Go. Fai. Uh, is that the right one? But. Fai. La. Go. 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 Chi. I kind of remember the tone where the tones are on this keyboard. Oh, um. I think I got it. Yay. Con con khai. Con khai. Con Con gà kia có phải là của chị gái không? My tones are all over the place and so is the pronunciation. Con ha. Con gà kia có phải là của chị gái không? Con ha kia. Con gà kia có phải là của chị gái không? Let's just switch this all to IPA, please. <laughs> The tone marks I'm okay with, but let's just switch all of this type in. <laughs> Con lợn này đang nghe nhạc. Con lợn. À. Con lợn này đang nghe nhạc. Bring back to no. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I've already invested in learning Chinese, the Chinese characters, anyways. Like I've said, I like writing systems. That's my biggest. Um, that's the biggest thing. I mean, I've always liked the Chinese writing, even when I was little. Like, like I think I said, I said before, um, my dad, my dad taught me how to write Chinese characters. Like he worked a lot. My dad was a my dad was a chef. He worked all the time, so he had like one day off. And on those rare occasions when he was around, he taught me how to write Chinese characters. So, um, but I always liked. I always wanted to learn how to write more characters. And my dad wrote really nice too. He wrote beautifully. So, con lợn này đang nghe nhạc. So. There's a little bit of motion, motivation there. Oh, how do I do that? Oh, oh, 
I don't remember how to do that O. Um, it's got that, it's a strange O. Is it a seven, o, seven, five? Yes. But I also, I also really like the um, other writing systems as well. It fascinates me. Probably because I like the idea of trying to write things in code. <laughs> okay, I think I typed that one out right. No! No, I don't. Oh, yeah! Got two, wrong, two or three wrong today? Con lợn này đang nghe nhạc. Let's try this again. Uh, Con lợn này nai. đang nghe nhạc. Mm, nghe. Why is there an H there? Oops. That was painful. I'm just saying, if they got to romanize anything, let's just use IPA for now on. <laughs> Never said I wasn't going to learn it. It just wasn't the time to learn it yet. <laughs> Do you think we can use Bopomofo for Vietnamese? No, we can't use Bopomofo for Vietnamese. Sounds aren't quite the same. Mouse. Chuột. Chuột. Duck, duck, duck. What's a duck? Oh dear, Rachel. Vít. Duck Lord. Duck Lord is busy. I think Duck Lord is busy learning. Um, what's Duck Lord busy learning? Dutch and German? Uh, where's my, where's my tw Twitch? Does she learn? I think Duck Lord is busy learning Dutch and German. <coughs> She might be on the German right now. <laughs> How do I type that? In Vietnamese? We are. Yep. Chuột. 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 What? What weird script based on Korean? Oh, you were talking about that the other day when the style of Chinese. No. <laughs> I'm just, I'm getting used to the Vietnamese now. <laughs> I'm getting used to the Vietnamese now. I can type it now too, I think. <laughs> we'll just leave it alone. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe IPA. Just IPA. V. V. <laughs> Những con khỉ đó đang làm gì? <cười> Những con khỉ đó đang làm gì? What are those monkeys doing? Wait, wait, wait. Nyung. Nyung. Okay. The... What? Oh, yeah, that's monkey. Okay. So the plural goes before the classifier 
which is before the noun. So, so when you want to make a plural of a noun in Vietnamese, you got to put the plural mark before the classifier. Oh, good lord. Let's just stick with trying to learn this language. I'm mostly, you know, I'm mostly just accepting, like, what, how they want me to write the words out. But I'm mostly learning, learning based on what I hear. Like... <laughs> Những con khỉ đó đang làm gì? Những con... Những, Những con khỉ đó đang làm gì? Những con khỉ đó đang làm gì? Những con khỉ đó đang làm gì? So, plural classifier monkey monkeys and because it's a plural this is now those those monkey are doing and that's what <laughs> that's the syntax for you people những con khỉ đó đang làm gì some people may make nice wait what's a constructor script while others make ready <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> actually, I think my juice is warm now and I haven't actually really taken a sip of it. I I'm desperately needing vitamins today. <clears throat> But I'm starting to feel better. Sorry, constructed scripts, yes. Yes, the Korean the Korean writing is actually kind of one of my favorite. The Korean um The Korean writing is actually one of my favorites because it's pretty easy to pick up. And granted I learned the Korean I learned Korean Hangul um pretty much the traditional way because there weren't a lot of stuff online yet. Um so I have like Hand written it out a few times, but it's so simple. Oh my god, it's so simple compared to others. Những con khỉ đó đang làm gì? I don't remember. Epic, what did you think about Esperanto? You don't know why they call it constructed scripts? Yeah, I mean, aren't all writing systems constructed, anyways? <laughs> It's like calling food organic. All food is organic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Or by a lot. Well, actually, in English, we call it organic foods, right? But in Dutch, they use the word biological, basically, biologis. And I'm like, all food is organic and all food is biological, okay? <laughs> I mean, I understand they mean that there's no chemicals involved with the production of the food. I understand that's what it means, but seriously. <laughs> Những con khỉ này đang ăn yes. chuối. What's a natural script supposed to be? <laughs> a natural script. You draw a line and then another line. That's it. <laughs> the most natural, the most natural, the most natural writing I've ever seen is the, just the first three Chinese numbers. One, two, three. That's the most natural to me. <laughs> Esperanto has a nice culture, but boring as a language. I mean, like, what kind of culture did, did they decide to build up? I mean, is it fairly multicultural, do you think? Or has it merged into, like, one thing? Or is it... <laughs> I mean, the biggest argument against Esperanto as a language is that it doesn't really represent all the world languages. I mean, come on, it's going to be hard. Những con khỉ này đang ăn chuối. These monkeys are eating bananas. Uh, what's the word for mouse? Chuột. Những con chuột này đang uống sữa. I think I'm not gonna bother trying to pronounce Vietnamese today because I suck today and I'm not feeling super well, but feeling better. 
Maybe I'll, I well, I should know. I don't think I have time to play tonight. I want to play, but I don't think I have time. Tôi không thích những con cá đó. Tôi không thích những con cá đó. What are those monkeys doing? Uh, khỉ. Những con khỉ đó đang làm gì? Actually, Nate, I think the juice is fine for me right now. Okay. And it's giving me some vitamins. I mean, I, like I said, I did drink a lot last night. That is the thing, though. So I don't think I was terribly dehydrated. Right? Mm -hmm. In a way that, uh, what's a good thing? That it's not, doesn't cover all the languages? Yeah, just learn more languages. I honestly think just learn the, all the different languages. Eventually it'll get easier. Because if you think about it, there's only so many ways we can form phrases and sentences. There's only so many ways we can morph words. There's only so many ways we can pronounce things. So eventually, once you learn a lot, a different variety of them, a large, large variety of different of languages, you'll be exposed to all the different phonemes <laughs> and all the different types of morphology and syntax. So it'll get easier. That's my whole theory. See, this is why I'm going through languages this way and eventually go back to them because it'll eventually get easier to pick up the next one. I have found it easier to pick up the next language after doing a few. <clears throat> Start with one, then the next one gets easier. Esperanto may help speakers in non-European languages learn... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good for, like, European languages, I think. So, a European... Somebody who speaks an Indo-European language will probably pick up Esperanto fairly easy. I didn't find it too hard. But yes, it could help. It could help, like, Vietnamese speakers pick up the other European languages, for sure. It's a gateway, I guess. If Esperanza had become really big, I would have learned it. Mike, I thought you started learning it, though. Những con khỉ đó đang làm gì? Unfortunately, there's no real easy gateway to learning, like, Asian or African languages, right? Unless there's a constructed language you don't know about. Like. Những con khỉ đó đang làm gì? Mike, how's it going though? How's school? Did you have class today? I started Esperanto though. I mean, I started Esperanto. I did start it. See, it's, it did. I did. 30, I have 35 experience points in Esperanto. But I'm more likely to learn Polish and Hebrew before Esperanto. <laughs> you think Swahili is a good gateway into the African languages and Indonesian is a gateway? Do you th really think so? I mean, Chinese, learning Chinese is a big gateway to East Asian languages because Japanese, Korean, and even Vietnamese borrowed Chinese words. I suppose Indonesian. I did start Indonesian too. I was doing Indonesian for quite a bit though. Where is it? It's up here. It's up here. But I'm thinking, I don't know, Garani's hurting my head a lot. Maybe... Maybe, let's try this. Um, what do I have on my language list here, guys? Let's see, I might run another poll. Who's around? But there's not many people around. How am I going to run a poll? <laughs> I'll run a poll and you guys can duke it out. Um, no, this, this list is better. Um, Yeah, these are completed. I don't know why they're not cho showing as completed. Um, Japanese, I still need to do it. This is Irish. 
Sw Swahili is good for Bantu language. Yeah. Well, last time I ran the poll, it was Garani, Swahili, or Indonesian, but Garani won. But I'm thinking, let's try. Oh, I'm, I want to do another poll. I came late to my philosophy lecture because I switched groups. To what do you mean you switched groups today? I already finished Hawaiian. I'm doing Harani. See, I want to do some Hungarian too. Uh, Hungarian? Turkish? There's Hungarian, Turkish, Finnish. Are there any more non Indo European ones? Hebrew. No, I'm not ready to do Hebrew or Hindi yet, honestly. Um, This Romanian. <laughs> See, if I ran this poll, I know what Mike's answer is gonna be. It's gonna. If I ran a specific poll, Mike's answer will be Norwegian. I know that. The minute Norwegian is on the poll, Mike will vote for Norwegian. I think. <laughs> Finish. Well, okay. So there's Hungarian, Turkish. The only really different ones they have left are, are like aside from East Asian, they're skipping the East Asian and Asian languages. Because I'm already doing Vietnamese on Lingle Dare. Um, let's skip Japanese and Korean and Vietnamese for now, right? And then there's a bunch of Indo Europe. A lot. See, this is the thing I don't like about Duolingo. They have a ton of just Indo European languages. Like there's Irish. I already did Hawaiian. We're doing Guarani right now. Um, Norwegian. So there's Hungarian. Indonesian, Turkish, Swahili. And Finnish. Hindi, Hebrew. Hindi and Hebrew. And... Okay, let's try this. Uh... Yeah, I'll just, I'm gonna run a quick poll. What? Another group got an opening so I could join. Well, what are the groups for? Up to five, I guess. Hungarian. Yeah, okay. Hungarian, Turkish. Let's do that. Intonation Swahili. Have a nice nap, Nate. Find a nap. Fina Dutia, Dutia, whatever, it's D U T or something. Uh, Indonesian is a healing. All right. Run it as a you can't run it as a fifteen minute poll. That's that sucks. There you go. The poll is up. Okay, then try learning. No. What is that? 
you have to sign up for a group yourself. Just who you have lectures with, they're basically just classes. Ah, okay. Tiny amounts of resources. <laughs> Yoruba might be interesting. These monkeys are eating bananas. Ah, uh, monkeys. Ki, these monkeys. Nai. Những con khỉ này đang ăn chuối. Nay, you can't vote on the poll if you just laughed. The poll has Hungarian, Turkish, Finnish, Indonesian, and Swahili. Huh? Oh, same as last time. What? Well, you have to vote. I can't vote on my poll. All his languages are imperialist. <laughs> oh, dears. Những con khỉ này Dang an chuối. Epic, you can learn an octatat. <laughs> you can learn this one. It's not imperialist. <laughs> and it was, I think it might have been endangered. <laughs> or it might still be endangered. <laughs> Những con chuột đó đang là những con chuột đó mice those mice đang, đang làm gì những con chuột đó đang làm gì I think I am remembering words just a little at a time these mice are drinking milk Uh, these mice. Những con chuột này <coughs> đang uống sữa. <coughs> so it actually cooled down because we got a big storm last night. And I think there's traces of the storm left today. But we got a big storm last night, Storm Francis. And it rained. <laughs> You're learning to... <laughs> oh, thank you, HC. Don't you just say Gesundheit in Dutch, though? You just use the German. <laughs> yes, thank you. Những con vịt kia là của Thu Phương. And who had it met you from How are you today? Những con vịt kia là của thu những con vịt kia. Sontai <laughs> um, did Yes, please vote on the poll. <laughs> oh wait, we got, where? It's a it's a five way tie, people. Lesson newly. <laughs> những con vịt kia. La của Thu Phương. You know, I like how they say goodbye in Icelandic. They use blesseth, blesseth blesseth or blesseth something. It's gone better, I met you. Yeah, it's gone better. <laughs> I was, um, it was Zik. Uh, Hysteravand. I ate some bad food. So I was sick last night for a bit. I'm, I'm recovering, I think. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better, but just slowly recovering. I'm trying to drink some juice to give me some vitamins because I didn't get a lot of food. I didn't eat a lot of food. Technically, didn't get a lot of food in my system after I got sick, so I had to eat a little bit of food. 
I think you can also just use bless. Mike is shady as hell. Oh, good lord. What do you mean? Oh, uh, no, I, I didn't know the food was left out in the sun. I thought it was fine, and I shouldn't have ate it because it smelled weird to me, but I ate it. <laughs> I'm just like, I have to be really careful to just not eat anything if it smells weird to me or if it looks bad. So, um, <laughs> it was pretty bad. I mean, I don't think, I'm not sure if I can trust this man. Did he just vote for every course? Is that what Mike did? How many more minutes you got? I don't know how many minutes you have for the poll. It's a 10 minute poll. You guys got some time, but just vote. Okay, you know what? If there's a tie, if there's a five way tie, I will continue doing good on next week, I guess. Or or I will I will do a random number generator and pick one of them. Actually, that's what I'll do. If it's a five way tie, I will do a random number generator and pick one of the courses. So it'll just be one to five. Uh, I guess Hungarian is first, Turkish finished, Indonesian, Swahili. Wait, 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 what's going on? Oh, Turkish! Interesting. Those ducks over there uh, aren't farms. Thu Phương. Những con vịt kia là của Thu Phương. Yay! I think my grammar is getting there with Vietnamese. Yal Saker needs mehr dun. Ich kann nicht voten mit ich auf PS4 to stream. Huh? How are you watching the stream on PS4? And that is weird. You can't vote on the poll in PS4. Oh dear. Maybe you can do it on the phone app. The mobile app. It is possible that I might have spent some ninja bots to give all languages a vote. Yes, Mike. I'm sh had to tie it. Didn't want the most important lang imperialist language to win. <laughs> Twitch app PS4. Yeah, I know there's a Twitch app. I mean, I had to install it in order to stream from PS4, but... Uh. Why? Which one do you think is imperialist? <laughs> you, oh, Turkish. <laughs> you think Turkish is imperialist? <laughs> Might be some truth to that. But it's a Turkic language, and I think... You know, I wish they had other Turkic languages on here, like Kazakh or something. Those dogs over there are mine. Uh, nun kong cho kia la gua dot. I cannot pronounce Vietnamese today, I'm sorry. Kazakh? Yeah, how do you spell... Is that how you spell it in por in Polish? And hello, I'm calling you Wookie. Waki. I'm calling you Waki or something, am I, right? <laughs> I remember that. I'm calling you Waki. How are you today? Vote on the poll, by the way. There's a poll going on. You know, I realized maybe I should do a command for the poll. <laughs> Gorani is hurting my head right now. So I want to do a different Duolingo course next week. Strax noch trainen, nu noch if you stream. You're still wait. You're still training. Uh, wait, are you training and watching my stream at the same time? What is it you do, HC? Oh, are we done? We are done. Okay, let me see the poll results. How, oh, geez, how do I see the poll results? 
I think that's how they spelt it in Kazakhstan since they've moved to Latin alphabet. I thought it was with the K. I'm good, and you? I, I, I could be a little bit better. I mean, I'm feeling better than I was last night. I was a little sick last night, but workout is later. <laughs> Adding, are they? Really? Let's check out the incubator. Are you, is that the Uyghur, Uyghur or whatever or something else? See, there's this. Or oh, did not want to do that. I wanted to. <clears throat> yeah, Haitian Creole is getting added. I knew that. Maori. Oh, that's Yiddish. And I knew about this one. Uh. I knew about that. No, wait, what? They're not adding it. Who's adding it? Maybe they're trying to add it. I don't like those fish. Uh, fish. Wait, what? Let's do, do. <coughs> Wait, what? Oh, you're gonna try and add it. What? Những con chó kia là của tôi. Oh no. Những con chó kia là của tôi. I don't think I can do this now. <laughs> Những con chó kia là của tôi. I think I'm st my brain is still on cooldown, everyone. I think that's right. Những con chó kia là của tôi. Okay, let's see if I can type this in Vietnamese. Um, N H. Okay, how do I do that U with the tilde? Is it this one? Uh, I'm getting better at this Vietnamese typing, guys. Everyone, guys. I, I'm Canadian. Guys is guys is gender neutral to me. <laughs> Always was. <clears throat> Hi, Sultan. How's it going? I haven't seen you around in a while. You asked for a Turkic language, but I was thinking of Kazakh. <laughs> <laughs> I only bring up the interesting ones. No, Kazakh! Kazakh! Kazakh is interesting! Oh, jeez, Epic. You're on something. What is that? Ch 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 <laughs> Hello, hope the city is going out. Hi, slow it down. How's it going? I'm, I'm good. I, I was a little sick last night, but I'm feeling better. Um, so my brain is a little bit blah, but I'm trying to ma manage to get through. Um, I will look up poll results in a bit after I get through this lesson. I don't like those fish. Uh, uh, it was this one, right? Tôi không thích những con cá đó. And yes, there is a community challenge. Check out the channel rewards. I will do a special one and a half hour stream if the community meets the challenge. I'm good. I've just been trying to focus on my kanji a lot more recently. That is good. Hmm, I'm trying to decide when I'm going to get back to the Japanese, but I might get back to, you know what, I might actually just get back to Korean before I get, get, get into Japanese again, <clears throat> sadly. 
I heard people there don't like when someone is trying to speak their language inappropriately. Is that true? People where? In Kazakh? Or Vietnam? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm not Vietnamese in Kazakh. I wouldn't know. But I think I think I used to use I used to use some some language chat apps and I think I met somebody from Kazakh and I don't, I don't think they really cared. Then again, those language chat apps turn into like some people try to use it as a dating app, so I think that's why he didn't care. <laughs> this stream is probably the only known instance of Gurani on Twitch. Những con vịt kia là của Thu Phương. Yes, but I, I don't. Uh, Garani hurts my head. I won't get back to it. I'm not giving up on Garani. I don't give up on any of the languages. It's just a matter of time, and it hurts my head. I think about one million more people speak Russian than Kazakh. In Kazakh. Yeah, they did say they both speak Russian and Kazakh. Which is funny because Russian is a Slavic, Indo European Slavic language, and Kazakh is Turkic. They're completely different. Những con vịt kia là của Thu Phương. I should really try to remember these. Những con vịt kia là của Thu Phương. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Uh, is it this one? I think it was that one. Please don't be wrong. I'm like. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do I do that? You. How do I do that? You. No. You seven. Okay. H U. Oh, seven. I think that's right. It's possible I got the two U's mixed up, but I hope not. Hey! This stream is probably the only known instance of Gorani on Twitch. Yeah. I'm just a like. Oh, they gave me five stars anyways. I'm just a language holic, people. Did I actually get five stars in this one? I can't tell. Actually, I can't see that on my app, on the app, on this here. No, I can't tell if I got th five stars on it. <coughs> I'll check in the app. Okay, yay! We finished that skill. It just gives me stars. I can't tell if I got. I need to check the app to see if I got five stars on that. So we finished that skill. That's a common thing in uh, CIS. What's that mean? What's the CIS mean? The former Soviet states or something? Like the same thing is true for Ukraine. And, yeah, I think the former Soviet states are like that. But I think you, I think in Ukraine now they speak, they still speak Russian, but they do like to yeah, they do like to speak Ukrainian. Um, Oh, did she just go? Wait, what is going on? Oh, is she actually offline? I guess we raided. Wait, what is going on here? Oh, okay.
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think Rachel raided somebody. Anyway, so yes, um, let me pull up the poll results. Um, my scene should be, my display should be off right now. So that was a little bit of, um, that was some Guarani and some Vietnamese. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, actually, if we close that window off, I don't need that window right now. Um, so let's pull up. Um, yes, there is a way to pull up the poll results. <laughs> Just try to remember how I did it. Um, manage poll. There it is. Uh, view results. Through the results. Uh -huh. Let's pull it up like this. And so let's view these results. Vote break. <laughs> yes, Mike. You using you said you were using the ninja bots to vote. Were you guys tied between Turkish and Swahili? So, hey Rachel, how's it going? Yeah, it's XUSSR. You wait, you wait, talent, and you will err by by learning. <laughs> nice. I can air, I can air more three Netherlands airholes and in beta France. <laughs> Oh, thank you, H. It's nice view. Well, wait. You're in. You're in Belgium. In Belgium. Oh, you're in Belgium, right? So you probably know a little bit of French, right? But do you know a bit of German too? Because apparently, I, th I think German's an official language as well in Belgium. Belgium. Soviets make whole writing, writing systems and grammars for every language in the user. What in the twenties, thirties, but then force Russia, Russian onto everyone. Fifteen years now. <laughs> hey Rachel, how's it going? And <laughs> Waki, Waki says, and it's funny how at first some alphabets were Latin origins. So when the we world revolution is done, people could understand letters from foreigners. But when it was obvious that's not going to happen in the near future, they switched them to Cyrillic. I'm good, thanks. I'm good. I was a little bit sick last night, Rachel, unfortunately. The screen is meant to be black, yes, because I'm looking at the poll results. <laughs> and Mike spent ninja bots again on the poll. So we have a tie between Turkish and Swahili. Um, here's the poll results. Um... Turkish, uh, twenty nine percent. Swahili, twenty nine percent. Hungarian, fourteen percent. Finnish, fourteen percent. And Indonesian, fourteen percent. Those are the poll results. Well, you people don't want me to learn Indonesian, right? <laughs> Kein Deltsprekik is mar and hell klein stukje by ons I know, I know, I read about that. It's actually funny because German is an official language in Belgium, and I think it was at less than 1% of the population there speak German, but in the US, there is a significantly higher number of people there that speak Spanish natively. I'm talking about native speakers here. And Spanish is not an official language in the U.S. It might be an official language in New Mexico, I believe. And a sort of official language, sort, sort of like unofficial language in a few other states in the U.S. So those are the poll results. I'm going to do a random number generator 
to choose between Turkish and Swahili, okay? Um, I have a random number generator. It's one or two, obviously. Uh, here's my random number generator. There you go. This is a really good random number generator, guys. So, Turkish is one and Swahili is two. So, I gotta choose between one and two, right? I don't know if you guys can see that. So, I'm just gonna press generate. Yep, I guess it's Turkish next week. Got one. Got, see that? <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> it will be fun. Um, okay, wait. Um, I put my scene, my scene back. Yeah, I'm about to end my stream though, Rachel. Um, you just popped in at the end. I finished. Yeah, Turkish should be fun. I got through a bit of Turkish already. Let's see if I remember anything. I remember the word order because it's like Japanese and Korean. I probably don't remember anything. <laughs> Just, uh, Gorani was hurting my head today. I, I, it, the problem with the Gorani is they, they updated the course, they added more sentences and, and, and changed some of the skills around in the Gorani course right now. And I swear they put different dialects of Gorani in the course, and I don't know which answers they want. <laughs> <laughs> that, like which dialect of Quran and, and I can't tell which dialect of Qurani they're they're teaching me and I can't tell which answers they want at any uh, oh, it's driving me crazy Qurani <laughs> is a, I mean because Qurani is spoken by look 4.85 million in 1995 that's how many native speakers there are so there are definitely different dialects right and so they give me different words sometimes and i'm like wait why do you want me to say that way imperialism once again i'm sorry epic i'm sorry but turkish is a gate gateway to all the turkic languages so <laughs> there are turkish people in the netherlands i gotta learn a bit of turkish <laughs> I mean, I, I order like tur Turkish pizza, Turks pizza, and Capsalon, okay? <laughs> and they're very nice people actually here. Oh man, rip me, I guess. It's all right, Rachel, I was looking your stream. Um, so, um, somebody did redeem, Andy did redeem, um, sorry, I'm gonna, hide my scene again we're gonna look for somebody to raid but Andy redeemed um, guide the raid so we gotta figure out who he wants me to raid um, uh, there's supposed to be a Korean guy learning English on Duolingo <laughs> yes, Capsalon is that neat. Oh, my heart is knipping. Yes, Capsalon is a food item. <laughs> Capsalon is eight. Yes. Capsalon is lecker. <laughs> ich habe ein Capsalon. <laughs> By the capster of Capper. <laughs> Thank you. He said raid one mouth 29. Well, let's check out the Duolingo category. Is he still on? No, no one else. He's not on. Is he actually on? I don't think he's on anymore. Yeah, I'll just redeem. I'm going to redeem his uh, points. Oh, he's in the just chatting category, but he's not on right now. Okay, well, you know what? Can't do that. We'll give him a shout out. 
at least. I'll just do a shout out. Uh, one mouth 29. Give him a shout out. You guys can check him out next time he's on, I guess, or just go check out his channel. He's got a couple of broadcast. He's got a couple of vods. Please teach me English. I'm Korean. Uh, I guess you can, guys can go check him out. And but I guess I still have to find somebody else to raid. Um, actually, I'll just follow One Mouth Twenty Nine. I think in a bit. Um, yeah, there's no one else in Duolingo. All right, people. Um, who we got on now? What is he doing? I think I'm supposed to be a j Ooh. I don't know what game this is, but it seems cool because it says he's supposed to beat up a dragon. Oh, it's a platformer. <laughs> Or do we want, do we want, um, science and technology? I don't know what science and technology this guy's doing right now. Sorry, I can't see this. Cleanest has just gone live. She's doing art, right? Is she doing art? You guys can check out Cleanish actually, actually, and Lady of Chaos. I think they're both doing art. What is this guy doing? Hold on. Um. Oh god, I can't get her name right. It's too long. Okay, we're gonna rate somebody who's in the science and technology category. It's pretty quiet and chill guy. Um, I, my thing is being stupid right now. Uh, He normally learns, uh, he normally studies Japanese. Why is it not popping up on this thing? No. Okay, so we're gonna rate this guy. He's, I don't know what he's doing exactly, but let's just rate him and say hi. Um, I'm usually watching his, I'm usually lurking his Japanese Duolingo stream and his, uh, well, he was playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, so I was looking at that. So everyone go say hi, see NinjaBot Raid, and I will see you next time uh, tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow. I will be doing some Dutch tomorrow and learning some IPA as well, and I think that's it for tomorrow. That's it for tonight, and I will be back tomorrow. So hope to see you all then. Thanks for being here, everyone. Yes. <laughs> Final Avond. <laughs> right now. Ninja Bot Raid.